Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Writer here, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for joining me in this latest video. Now, I appreciate this video is quite short, but it's one that I really wanted to show you guys. It's of a patient who attended reporting a blocked left ear. So this is the patient's left ear, and they assumed it was due to earwax. However, upon examining the ear, you can see this fluid um, that's settled at the, the base of the eardrum. We call this the inferior recess or the annulus. And what we're not sure about is where this fluid has originated from. Um, now, it's quite a thick fluid. It's almost like glue. And I'm going to come back to that in a moment. Now, there's potentially two causes. It could be that the patient, when they're showering or bathing or swimming, got water trapped in the ear. And I've seen quite a lot of that recently, actually, in the last few weeks. Um, no doubt due to the hot weather that we've been experiencing here in the UK and people are spending more time um, in the shower or swimming pools in the water to cool themselves down. Or it could be that this patient had a bit of glue ear. Now, glue ear is a buildup of fluid behind the eardrum. And if there's excessive fluid behind the eardrum, um, it's almost like a water balloon. The, the middle ear cavity gets filled uh, with fluid and eventually it's going to have to go so it's going to burst and in the case of the eardrum it can perforate the eardrum but I can't see any perforation here now I've circled these little what I what appears to be bubbles now the, the one at the bottom at six o'clock that bubble I can tell that's in front of the eardrum so I'm going to go back for that in a moment but the bubble at two o'clock and at eight o'clock sometimes when you have fluid build up behind the eardrum called glue ear um, you can get air bubbles trapped in there so again, is this uh, glue in? Now, if it was, the fluid would have to come through the eardrum. So I'm just going to remove this to see if there's a little pinhole perforation. But there's not. It's a bit of skin there as well. So I'm just going to remove that. So now it's plausible that the, the patient did experience some pain at the time uh, when their symptoms originated, that the, the eardrum did perforate. There's a little small hole there that appeared and the fluid kind of uh, reared through the hole, gathered into the bottom of the eardrum and then it's since healed. It's plausible. Um, now this is the patient's right ear. Now you can see the different color, it's a bit more um, milky and uh, opaque in appearance. Now where I circle there at the top, that's the patient's attic, that's the top part of the patient's eardrum. That is retracted, it's sucked in. So we know this patient has got a blocked eustachian tube and I did perform a pressure test called tympanometry on both sides. And what it did actually reveal that in their left ear, the one with the fluid in, there was still fluid behind the eardrum and um, they have got glue ear there. There's no mobility of the eardrum there. And in the right ear, the second ear that I showed you, they've got a blocked eustachian tube, which is the pressure equalizer in the ear. And that was blocked at the back of the nose. The patient did exp um, have some flu-like symptoms a fortnight ago when their symptoms first started. And when the eustachian tube is blocked, it creates a vacuum effect and your eardrum gets sucked in and tipped at the top. Well, I hope you enjoyed that um, and it was a bit different. Take care, keep well, and remember, be nice and be kind. Thank you. Bye.